All right, man, let's get this video started. Yo, 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 if they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. We back here with another video. Y'all already know the vibes. Y'all know what to do. Smash that like button. Y'all see that like? Smash the like button. It's free. It ain't gonna hurt or cost you. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Keep that notification bell on so when you know when I'm dropping my video. But smash the like button. It's free. Before we even get in everything I speak on this video is alleged also. But we got to talk about this YSL on um, trial with YSL Woody on, on the stand over there. Got this whole trial looking like a circus since, since he's been on, since he's been on the stand. And I know people are like, yo, but now nah, Woody snitching, Woody doing this, Woody. But see, I'm going to explain to y'all what Woody is actually doing. Woody helped himself in the beginning, and Woody is actually, allegedly, is helping Young Thug on this case also as we speak. But how smoke what you mean? I'm going to break everything down for y'all. And we got a new DA lady. Remember Fanny Williams? The one that indicted YSL? The one that indicted Young Thug? Remember, she got famous off of this. Yo, am I lying? What are we talking about here? Did Fanny get famous? Of course she did. And you remember she did the thing with Trump, indicted Trump, ah, 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 whatever, whatever. The new lady that's, that's supposed to be taking her spot in November, if she get elected, she basically went on the Twitter page Free YSL, if she get elected in November, she's dismissing this whole case. Who's with it saying this trial don't go to November? She get elected, boom, this junk get. And now everybody's on Twitter. Some people saying, yo, she right because she broke things down. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. And we're going to go through the own Woody on little case. We got a couple of clips we're going to go over and I'm going to react to. Because Woody's straight playing this whole case, this, this whole trial, man. See, when you got a trial, you got to present the jury evidence, proof, prove that it was him. He was the head honcho. We haven't seen none of that yet. What are we talking about here? Copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational, entertainment purpose. Clips and videos I play are also owned by the original creators. So let's get straight to it, man. Let's get to the new DA lady that's supposed to be coming in November. Because y'all probably think I'm lying. Oh, nah, Smoke, what you talking about? I ain't seen nothing. Let's get to it. Shout out to Spade TV for even dropping this about an hour ago. Fulton County DA nominee Courtney Kramer says she would dismiss the YSL case if she gets elected in November. And hold up. this is, I ain't done. She dropped a whole page on her Twitter page. A whole article. <laughs> y'all see this, right? Now, if y'all go to her Twitter page, this is basically what she's saying. Now, I'm not going to read this whole thing. Y'all can go over there and read it yourself. I'm going to break everything down the way she basically saying it. She's basically saying on top, Kramer to Fannie Williams, Fannie Willis, and YSL trial now. And the reason why she say this, if you go all the way down to the bottom down there with the same black words, what she's saying she promised and all that down there to the last paragraph, she's basically saying there's no evidence. They haven't proven no evidence. They haven't shown no evidence. They have been a whole circus. The main, the main witness, YSL Woody, Lil Woody, pause. He supposed to be their main witness. What are we talking about here? And he up there got this whole thing looking like a circus. And they can't do nothing to him. Let this marinate. Because they already gave him immunity for him. So whatever he say, they can't even lock him up. So he basically saying, listen, I don't even know what y'all talking about. But let this right here sit. Let this sit right here and let this marinate. And y'all sold about this lady, what she about to do. Because uh, people on her Twitter page are saying, yo, she just doing that for votes, this and that. Okay, she, maybe she is. How many other Republicans and Democrats, whatever, and all, politicians, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged, how many times they do things for votes? Look at y'all little um, president. Look at y'all female um, president, right? The one that's running for president. Oh, her, Kamala, she got rappers. What are we talking about here? She got Megan Thee Stallion on stage twerking and all this. Come on, what are we talking about? So you telling me other people don't do that? They don't do that for votes either? Whatever race they are? Oh, we can't discriminate over here. Oh, we ain't doing that because we got Camilla Harris over here using hip-hop to get the votes. Let's start there. 
And you got this Caucasian lady saying that she's going to be the new DA. If she's become the new DA, she's going to dismiss this big case right here that's, that's going on for no reason. Because you know why? Allegedly, Fannie Williams got, she wanted to get famous early. And it kind of all makes sense. Oh, let's, just, let's push the button right now. Allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. Let's get in the Rico right now. See, they push the button too fast. Y'all don't got nothing on Young Thug speaking on the phone. Y'all don't got nothing on Young Thug tweeting nothing crazy. Y'all don't got Young Thug riding around with loads of uh, drugs or, or weapons in his car. Y'all don't have none of that. None of that. Y'all got his crew in the streets. That's it. Who is we? You can't control everybody. Let's get to that part. Let's get to YSL Woody, though, man. Because we got to react to his clips. This, this dude know what he's... You know what's crazy? Because Woody know what he's doing. He already got immunity on him. They can't do nothing to him. The most they could probably do, throw him in jail for 30 days. That would mean, Woody going and sit back, put a seat up on that. <coughs> he's up there. See, and, and I understand the YSL co-founder. We're going to get to him, whatever, on Mood, on Mandu, whatever his name, the one that, you know, co-founder we're on. With thug, whatever, you know, he spoke out. Oh, Woody, you know what I mean? This is mad, but you know what I mean? You do okay, you trying to help out now, but you all this, see, all this was on Woody. Woody was doing a lot of wild, allegedly stuff in the streets. That's why he's going to say so. Everything he's speaking on is what he did. Not what Young Thug did. See, you see the difference? You see what I'm trying to talk about? Who's on trial? Young Thug. Who supposed to be the head honcho of this YSL case? Young Thug. Why is Young Thug on, on record label still running with Gunner under there? I've been telling y'all, Gunner didn't say nothing to harm his case. You need some type of income coming in. And Gunner bringing a lot of income into, in, into the label. Why you think he's still eating with these lawyers? That part. What are we talking about here? Thug don't even got to go dig in his pockets. He got, he got Gunner out there performing, doing all types of shows, getting money. For YSL Records. That's, you know, that's invested in who, who, <laughs> young thug that's on trial, that part. So money's still coming in, revenue's still coming in. Where he said they harm young thug, and I've been saying this since my last video when it first happened. He only copped out to what they did when they pulled him over, when him and young thug was in the, was in the car, when he had the little pills and all that. And then he had to say YSL was a gang in the street, but the YSL record label is not a gang. Y'all get what I'm trying to say now? Let that marinate. Because if YSL label was a game, that would have been shut down like how they did Murder, Inc. and did all the mother label. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Remember Irv Gotti, Ja Rule and all that when they actually had proof that money laundry was going into them because they had Supreme? If y'all know what I'm talking about, when the Rico came on Murder, Inc., that part, yeah, they shut that down, but they don't got no proof on the YSL situation on that. Why you think YSL Entertainment Young Thug label still eating. So you had to say that, Gunner, for him to come on and provide to his aunt, to his nigga, Young Thug, provide to the case, put money in this case. People got to understand my belief, and we're going to get to the clips. My belief, I believe that Young Thug knew it was coming. Pause, the Rico, he huddled his niggas up. Woody, him, 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 him. You cop out, you cop out, I, 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 you. Certain niggas he's not going to rock with when he beat this trial. Let's get to that part. We're going to talk about that later. But I believe that he told everybody it was coming and play your position. Woody, act like you retarded. Pause. Act like you, mm -mm, you know, a little, look, you're a little cuckoo. And that's what Woody doing. Let's get to it, though, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video. Yeah, you, everybody, smash the like button. Don't forget. Let's get to Woody. Let's get to one of these clips, man. When they told you they had to verify what you said, you continued to talk to the police. Because with the knowledge that I have, it's nothing to treat the police. But if they had to verify what you said, they had to make sure that what you said was true. How could you trick the police? Easy. I rule. How could you trick the police? Easy. How? I can't tell you that. Okay. Were you aware that the things that you talked about were verified? Objection to the 
Sustained. All right. We're going to take a quick break. Y'all all step back to uh, the jury room for me. Thank you. All right, we're good. Let me tell you something. And the clips I'm playing, I'm reacting to them because I'm playing the most important clips during this trial. So I, I picked out a few and I'm going to react to them because Woody, see, the part y'all got to understand, like I'm going like to remind y'all, let this man in y'all brain. You got to prove evidence to the jury. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to convince them that everything that you're showing to them, to the jury. That everything you're showing and your and your main witness, your main, the main dude that's supposed to be talking, and that's Woody. Woody's their main character, their main witness. What are we talking about here? And look what he's doing on the on the stand. You telling me what he's doing on the stand, and that's gonna convince the jury that young thug is convicted for all them charges, what they got him convicted for. Let that marinate. Let's continue with on YSL Woody. We ain't done. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Told you before y'all called me to trial. And one more thing from that last video. He says easy to trick them. Obviously it is because he already got immunity. That part. So he on there like this. Let that marinate. Told you before y'all called me to trial. I have lied. I made things up. I told you this before y'all brought me in this courtroom. And I'm telling you now, you asked me about 2015, I have got my life together. Y'all trying to put this on my countries. Y'all trying to put people's life in my hands. I don't lie on people. I don't want to be here. Y'all have pressured me. I'm tired of y'all because y'all know y'all are wrong. And y'all black people doing this to us. And I understand that. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Man, y'all pissing me off. Listen, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. Stop asking me these questions. Okay. I'm telling you, I don't recall. I understand, but we're going to have to get through the questions. You can just continue to say you don't recall if that's what it is. That's what you want me to say? I want you to hey, answer everybody the question. For just a minute. I don't think that you were instructing him how to testify. I hope not. Oh, don't I don't instruct him how to testify other than truthfully. Thank you. And Any all... other objection? Or was that covered? All right, go ahead. If you can answer the questions truthfully, and we can move forward. Can we do that? Truthfully. Like I said, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Yes, smash the like button if you haven't hit the like button. But like I said, you got to convince the jury who the person you got on the stand that's supposed to be you supposed to be on yeah he supposed to be y'all he supposed to be y'all witness y'all star witness all that and he's up there acting like a straight fool telling y'all i told y'all everything i'm saying i was lying to y'all you to see you won't have to convince you don't have to you got to convince the jury not the prosecutor let that marinate in your soul the married the, the prosecutor got to bring all this to the jury make sure the, that he convinced i mean make sure he or she make sure that everything they got that the jury is gonna be like okay then they got enough evidence to um, um, them on um, convince this man convict this man in charge for all the charges they don't got that they don't got that the jury's looking at woody like how the hell we got we should believe him he lied to y'all we can't we can't Doug, coming home that's why I told people what well, Woody did, Woody saved himself first. Now he's saving, now he's saving young thug now. Because when, whatever you said in the beginning, you're supposed to run, go on the stand and say the same thing. Am I lying? What are we talking about here? He's not doing that. They're ready to give me immunity. They can't even do nothing. So now he's just playing cuckoo cool, cool, like, bro, I, I told y'all everything I told y'all was a lie. <laughs> Let's continue, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, this is the whole play. And the worst that's gonna happen, they're gonna get Young Thug the lightest charge. They're not gonna go, they're not gonna get him the Rico charge, the big, the heavy charge that's gonna get him several years. No, he's gonna get the lightest charge. Watch, I'm telling y'all, man. They can't convict, they don't got no proof. You can't even convince the jury that your witness is telling the truth. <laughs> 
Let's continue with Woody, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Damn, boy. So this will happen. Okay. The police. Now, this is the part where he explained why he snitched on Young Thug and this and that. Now, to hear this out. All y'all probably heard it, but y'all gonna hear my opinion now. Woody knew what he was doing. So this will happen. Okay. The police kept locking you up for whatever they could. Every time I count though, the police was on me and they keep bringing up third name. So what I did was to get them off of me, I said third did this, third did that, third did, because I knew they would never, I knew he didn't do it. And they, I, in my mind, I knew that the police would never go mess with him. So it was easy. Let that marinate. Hold up, smoke. Nah, let that marinate. He said, I got tired of these niggas kept pulling me over. Now remind y'all, 2015, all oh, this, now, this is the mid, I mean, this is when Cleveland ad, Cleveland ad, whatever you want to call it, them niggas was out there bugged out, I mean, allegedly. But y'all got to remember, read between the lines with what he's telling y'all. They kept pulling me over, kept asking me about Young Thug. Now, you got to think about this. This is around the time they probably just started to rico on Young Thug or probably got their eyes on Young Thug. They probably already watching the YSL niggas in the streets. Not the entertainment, the streets, the Cleveland Ave niggas, the Beaveland Ave niggas, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Allegedly, they probably was watching them, so they probably like, yo, hold on, we got to watch Young Thug and see if this is this, this disconnected. It's just common sense. He come from there. He's the hottest. I mean, the late white. I mean, people in the streets got YSL on the street. It's just common sense. So you know that's where he's from. So they're gonna watch you now because a lot of shit going on in the hood. Let that marinate. But like Woody said, they kept pulling me over, asking me about Young Thug. I got tired of these niggas. I think allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. I think Woody went back to Thug and told him that. Thug probably went to him was like, listen, I already know these niggas is on me. Pause. Just say whatever, because they don't even got no proof. It might sound crazy. It might sound crazy, because they mostly, Woody was the one bugged out the most, so he going to tell them what he's going to tell them what he did and act like he going to switch later on on Young Thug, but get the immunity first. But then switch later on like he's doing now. Like I said, nah, that hold up, that's crazy, no smoke. Like I said, you got to convince the 12 juries that what well, your witness is telling the truth. Plus more evidence and actual evidence on Young Thug doing all them street activities or pushing the buttons to get them street activities done. They haven't shown us none of that for the damn near two years. Why you think nobody don't even care about this shit no more? Allegedly, because they haven't shown no proof on Young Thug pushing buttons, allegedly, and being a head honcho or doing the things they accuse him of doing. They only got the foot soldiers. Niggas already copped out. Niggas, what are we talking about here? So now they got cool, cool Woody up there. They can't believe everything he's saying. That was the plan. You got to screw the RICO charge up and get the less charges. What are we talking about here? Common sense. Real niggas know what I'm talking about. You sit there. You trying to beat the heaviest charge you got. Pause. That's the RICO. All right, man, give me the mother little charges I got on me. I, I already got time served, nigga. I'm coming home. Exactly. <laughs> so you got to mess with this RICO charge. Make, make it look like it's a circus let's continue with ysl woody he knew what he was doing so this will happen allegedly and everything i speak on is alleged so this will happen okay the police kept locking you up for whatever they could every time i count though the police was on me and they keep bringing up third name so what i did was to get them off of me, I said, third did this, third did that, third did, because I knew they would never, I knew he didn't do it. And they, I, in my mind, I knew that the police would never go mess with him. So it was easy for me to try to throw the blame off on him to get them off of me. And that's what I was doing from all these years. I don't remember what I don't told them in the past, but my whole motive was third did it because 
I knew he didn't do it, and they couldn't lock him up. And they keep talking about it, thug, 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 thug. So guess what I'm going to tell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what else you want me to tell them? Yeah, he killed this person. Yeah, he did that. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to do. And that's right now. If you tell, if I walk out this thing and, and, and they say, the police stop me now. Hey, man, give me something about the shit. I'm about to make something up about him again. On January 11, 2015, when you went to speak to the police, when they called you, did they ask you about Thug or did they ask you about the murder of Donovan Thomas? I don't know. I don't, re I don't remember. Did you go down to the police department on your own to tell them that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? Uh, did I go on my own? Did you walk into the police department by yourself to tell them on the morning of January 11, 2015, that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? I don't recall. I know some people are confused on what I'm saying, and I know some people actually get on what I'm saying. You got to convince. You got to prove to the jury that what you got on that stand is going to make the jury believe what he's saying. Everything he's saying sounds crazy, but how smoke he playing everything going to thug. But like what he said, thug knew this too. Now, listen, it don't take a scientist to realize this. If you got phone tap of the hours, the matching of this or the, and the hours of what activity happened in the streets that y'all allegedly saying that Thug actually was involved in, you would have phone tap, text messages, all types of conversations and stuff like that. They don't got none of that. We haven't heard no conversation of Thug on the phone. Yo, go do this. Hey, yo, go run up on YFN, Lucci, Crab, and go. They don't got none of that. What are we talking about here? Thug was smart enough not to talk crazy on the phone. He was smart enough not to be on that phone. Anybody that been watching this YSL trial for the sister started, give me one. Has we, we heard a phone conversation of anything crazy? Nope. We seen any crazy texts that they try to provide and all this and all that of Doug claiming that he put the hit on this? Nope. Now, I'm going to tell you one person that probably could have messed this trial up and got Doug convicted was YFN Lucci. Shout out to YFN Lucci for not even taking that stand. Cop, he on his way home now. Am I lying? Now, YFN Lucci would have took the stand and said, yeah, he don't know I mean? Ah, ah, ah. That would have hurt the whole, that would have hurt this whole trial right now. They don't got none of that. They got no, they got they got bugged out Woody on there talking about, man, I just told them niggas anything. And I knew they ain't have nothing. But how because look what we're seeing right now with our own eyes. They don't have nothing on young thug. Not the niggas that copped out and all that. You can't bring them niggas copped out already. They're already doing their time. Let that marinate. They main witness supposed to be Woody. They don't got nothing. They they going they wanted they had to go by what Woody was. And like I said, you can convince the prosecutor, but you gotta you gotta convince and prove that these juries. And obviously, them juries gonna look at Woody like, yo, we we can't believe this dude, bro. Exactly. Come on, man. He helped himself in the beginning, get the immunity, and now he's helping Thug on the trial. Let that marinate. Let's continue, though. We ain't done. From the bushes. What happened in Nut got nothing to do with what Now, he's talking about what he did. This is the Rich Homie Quan situation and all this. Maybe it was just on the um, internet. He shot Rich Homie Quan father barbershop. They can't do nothing. That's what people don't get. T.I. even said this. They don't. They haven't shown no proof, no evidence of Young Thug involving any of these street activities that Woody said that he did. Not that Young. No, he did. He's on the stand saying, "Yo, I did this. Yeah, I did." Because he got immunity. He can't. They can't do nothing. He's not even saying Young Thug. Yo, Young Thug told me to go shoot Rich Homie Quan Barber. He's not saying that. He said I did it because my best friend had beef with I. I, I. Let's continue. Like I said, he's helping Young Thug. Y'all got to think, bro. From the bushes. What happened in Nut got nothing to do with YSL. Did some shit. Uh, Excuse me. What happened to Nut, rest in peace, pause, 
Now, that's one of the biggest charges they trying to hit Young Thug with. When they shot up the barbershop, when, when they went down and they killed Nup. Remember that? This is the situation. That was where Tommy Kwan the on Father Barbershop and all that. He said it ain't got nothing to do with the YSL situation. It had to do with street beef with my boy named Threat. I, 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 I went down there and handled that. That's what Woody said. And they can't do nothing because he already got immunity. Let that marinate. It ain't have, like I said, he's convinced, he's he's saying that he did it, not Young Thug. There's nothing that's proven that Young Thug was involved in that, involved in that situation. You got to prove to the juries, not the prosecutors, homie. From the bushes. What happened in Nut got nothing to do with YSL. Did some shit. Uh, screaming language. This it got everything to do with threat. Know what I mean, I was trying to protect threat from the get go. Know what I mean, threat, threat, and they had some more stuff going on. Like, was threat at the gambling house when it got shot up by Kel? Young, you say nothing. I say can be used against me. That's right. Me and threat shot up Rich on the corner there at the barber shop on Bankhead. I don't know what happened with threat and Rich on the corner, but. I'm a ride with my brother. And they was beefing. And yeah, we pulled up and did that. Okay. And him and threat. <clears throat> Ain't got nothing to do with young thug. Like I said, you gotta prove to the jury that young thug was involved in these situations. Yo, Fanny. The DA, yeah, you. Let me holler at you. You, you, you messed up. You did this for fame, mama. A legend, and everything I speak on a legend. You did this. You did this for fame, ma. <clears throat> That's why that new DA is speaking out like this. When a new DA come out and say, "Yo, they ain't showing nothing on this young thug case," that'll tell you. And then there's a Caucasian woman as that. And I don't want to hear that for votes because I just broke it down 10 minutes ago. Y'all got y'all little on um, Kamala Harris over here using rappers for votes. Let that marinate. Got Mega Stallion up there twerking and all this. What the what? Exactly. So you telling me this Caucasian woman that's running for DA for Georgia, same position that on um, Fannie Williams, on Willis, whatever, convicted of YS on um, Young Thug on this BS case that they don't even got no proof on Young Thug. They had proof on the, on the, on the street, niggas. But they ain't had no proof on Young Thug <laughs> of him pushing the pushing, you know, pushing the button, doing all that, you know, making moves, telling niggas to do this, do. They ain't got nothing. How many? Come on, y'all know when they come, they make sure they come with phone tap you on the phone talking crazy. They don't got none of that. <sighs> Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. Do me that favor. Man, I know damn well. Now, this is the co-founder when he spoke. And I'm going to break it down where he wrong at. And I understand he's saying, because he even caught like, yo, this here what he got to say. Man, I know damn well. I just didn't get on stand and say, you put another name in the mix because you knew they weren't going to do nothing to him. Obviously, they did something to him, brother. He's in jail now, and you're free. That don't give you no motherfucking right to tell on no nother. Ain't got nothing to do with it. They was locking your ass up, not nobody else. You was getting locked up for the shit that you did. You don't go tell on no nother. A man talking about what you thought they were going to do and this, that, and the third, bro. What type of street is you, man? Man, y'all folk, man. Shawty, you a bogus. Boy, I don't give a damn what you tell me. I appreciate you for going up there trying to recant and all that. But it's too late for all that. You knew what you were doing. Don't try to switch your story right now. Rad. Fuck on. Okay, so this will happen. Okay. Now, see, I understand that. And I don't condone the, the snitch or none of that either. But see, what he got to understand is it could have been worse. If they probably would have let this ride out for several more years. So it was better for Young Thug to get caught at that time. Because it obviously, as you see, for two years as, as this trial is going, they don't have no evidence on Young Thug. They don't, the only thing they got is Woody 
bugged out ass up there explain the way he did. Like I said, then an hour ago, then in 30 minutes ago, I said he had to save himself. And now he up there acting like he don't remember nothing because you got to convince the jury. The jury can't go by what he's saying. You telling me, oh, yeah, guilty on Rico. Send him away just because of what he, he up there saying, man, I told y'all I was going to tell y'all anything. That nigga didn't do nothing. I just told y'all anything y'all wanted to hear. That's what Woody's telling y'all and the jury. And he's continued doing it while he on the stand right now. And they can't do nothing because they made a mistake by getting them immunity already. That part. That's what they mistake at. Because <laughs> they thought they had him. They thought they had Young Thug. They thought they had Woody going on the stand. He was going to sit on them like, yeah, Young Thug did this. Young Thug did that. Young Thug told me to do this. Young Thug told... He ain't doing none of that. So how are you going to convince the jury that Young Thug told his, ho or his homies to go do all that? Exactly. More, man. You got to think about that. And I understand. But see, okay, you want to say Woody is snitch. Okay. We understand that. But he's still in the hood. He's still walking around with, he's he chilling. So something telling me that them niggas in the streets know what's going on. And they know allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. They know what play that's going on with what he's doing. Because why is Woody still comfortable in his own hood and still comfortable in Atlanta? You let that marinate. You think, young? come on, bro. Come on, y'all got to think about this. Like I said, you want to beat the biggest charge that they got on you. And that's the Rico, the alleged murder, all this and that. They don't got, they, they, can't, convince, they can't convince the jury that Young Thug had anything to do with it. Woody's up there just told y'all that that, that, that that little shootout with nothing, that ain't had nothing to do with y YSL. That was me and my man. My man threat had a problem on um, I, 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 we went over there, we went to go handle that. The main person they needed, they needed Woody to tell the truth. Let's get that straight. And they needed YFN Lucci. For Woody to act like this, this one they need YFN Lucci to come in on the stand and become a little snitch too. But YFN Lucci stood 10 toes down and said, nah, I'm not doing that. And who else they got? They only got Woody. They main one. He supposed to be their main one. That supposed to be like, Doug told me to do this. Doug told me to do that. Doug said do this. Doug said do that. He ain't doing that now. Oh, you can tell. You can convince somebody else, but you got to convince them juries. And I don't see the juries believing that. <laughs> Free thug, man. Thug on his way home. Like I told y'all, they're going to give him the lightest charge they could give him. That's it. Mm -mm -mm. That's all they're going to get thug. They're going to give him the lightest charge they could give him. They ain't going to be that Rico or all that. They ain't going to get thug that. Thug ain't getting that. Because they because because Woody messed the whole case up. That's why them prosecutors, and they, I'm telling you, they mad. They can't do nothing. Even the judge said, the judge said, we, we he got a mute. We can't do nothing. What you want me to do? If he don't remember, he don't remember. We're going to put him in jail for 30 days. He don't care. Exactly. So that's not going to convince Woody to be like, yo, let me go back on there and tell the truth. Nah, y'all can't do nothing now. It's over. The only thing they, the only thing they going to hope is they better hope the jury believe that Woody was telling the truth before. But then, like I said, with his first statement, if you go by his first statement, okay, when he said, yo, okay, yeah, I just told him anything. I just said, yeah, thug this, thug that. You got to come to court with the proof, the evidence, the phone taps, the conversations, all that. They haven't shown us nothing. What we talking about here? Exactly. Let that marinate in y'all your brain and y'all soul right quick. They haven't shown us nothing. So his first statement don't even matter. Because now the jury's going to be like, yo, y'all haven't shown us, gave us no proof and no evidence of young Doug doing this and doing that and doing this and doing that. And Woody's up, YSL Woody, Paul's, he up there telling us that I told y'all back then, I was, I was telling y'all anything. So obviously it's showing the truth. He was telling them anything. 
even though the Rico came, but maybe they probably wanted that to come to come sooner than later. If you come later, maybe maybe more charges would have been on top, and they would have had more evidence. That part, what are we talking about here? So maybe Thug wanted this to happen now at that time because he knew they hadn't had and they ain't got nothing on them. Y'all ain't never thought about that? Nah, but Thug would have said that. Why the hell Thug gonna talk? We haven't heard Thug talk not one time. Thug can't talk. He ain't gonna talk because he's standing 10 toes down. If he speak and say anything about what his plan was on this case, that's gonna ruin the whole goddamn case. Think about that. That's why he's being quiet. He's not speaking to the outside world and nobody. Not even his co-founder. That's why his co-founder looks stupid for even saying that. You don't know what the play is, allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. You don't know what's going on. And like I said, Woody was so much of all that. Why nobody in his hood ain't touch him? Nobody in ATL ain't do Why YSL didn't do nothing? Think about that. Exactly. He the police. What? They not, they not informers. Niggas be knocking niggas off down there left and right. I don't want to hear that. That's my opinion on this YSL case, and uh, everything I speak on is alleged, but that's my opinion. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this is all they huddled up and they planned this. Plain and simple. Let that marinate. Think about it. They, they, they haven't showed us nothing with Young Thug. Nothing. Phone tap. Conversations. Nothing. Whole conversations for an hour on the phone talking about this, this, talking about some bugged out stuff that could indict him. Nothing. You got to prove to the jury, man. And with a dude with money like that, and then you got Gunner and his label's still going. So that's making it look good, too. That his label's not part of some gang and all that. Think about that, too. Because if it was part of some gang activity, they would have shut that YSL label down. Gunner would have had to get up out of there and go sign with Stable 300, whatever. It would have been slash Gunner 300, not slash Gunner YSL and 300. Nah, none of that. <clears throat> So, like I said, there's no proof gun on his way home. I mean, on Thug on his way home. And YSL Records is still going. Because if they had any proof, they would have shut them, that record label down too. That part. We've seen it happen with Murder Inc. But I'm up out of there, gang. Do me a favor. Smash that like button if you haven't. Smash the like button. Make sure you comment in below and tell me if y'all think Thug on his way home. And what y'all think what he doing. Is he helping Thug or is he, or is he hurting the case? Cause I think he's helping it the way he's acting. He got this jump like a circus. That part. It's your boy Smoke News TV, man. Hit that like, subscribe to the channel, share this video. I'm up out of there, man. If they know, they know, gang. It's your boy Smoke News TV. Salute. Mm -mm -mm.